everyone, it's FCA. Um, my hair is a mess and I'm still wearing the same shirt. I'm about to go work out and this is my pajamas, so no point in doing that. Anywho, going to answer some questions about braces that I had and my hair is going to drive me nuts. I should know better, right? I have to look all pretty on camera. <laughs> Anywho. Um, I got a message asking me a whole lot of questions about braces, so I am going to go ahead and answer them to the best of my ability. Um, do braces hurt when you get them on? Um, a little bit. They, they do hurt a little bit when you first get them on, but the real pain comes from when they tighten them. And what they do when you first get braces on is you have to have your teeth cleaned and then the this metal part they take a special adhesive that they mix together they paste it on your teeth with a little dabber then they take the metal part push it on in place and then they take like this special blue light laser heating treatment and put it up to your teeth and it adheres the metal to your tooth so you don't get drilled into your teeth there's no hole in your teeth um, or anything like that. Um, it is a bit painful because they put a lot of pressure to hold the metal piece on. Um, and then after that, they have the wire. The very, I went, I'm going to say that the first wire is definitely the most painful wire. Um, in fact, like the first four wires are the most painful in my opinion because they do the most um, adjustment to your teeth. And so what they do is all your teeth are out of alignment. They're all out of whack and all that good stuff. Or bad stuff, actually. And so what they do is they take the teeth. They take the, this wire right here. They thread it through because... Okay, there you go. There is little spaces between the metal bits that the wire is held into. So, yeah. And then you get a band put around them. The band is there to help hold the wire to force teeth together. I don't have one at the top anymore, but I used to have it on both of them. And you can choose colors, but you only get to choose colors if you need a, the band to help pull your teeth together. And I think it's only if your teeth need like a lot of adjustment that you get them, and most people do. But if, the, if you only get the option of silver, then you just have the wire and you don't have the band. Now I have rubber bands and this is just a usual um, oval with the rubber bands but they could get pulled like that to make a triangle or a trapezoid or a rectangle which they said we might actually have to do a trapezoid, which is really rare. <laughs> of course, I'm always special. Um, they shouldn't cut you. Your braces should not cut you. In fact, if you have a good orthodontist, after they put the band and the wire in, they'll let you move your teeth and mouth and tongue around to see if there's anything sharper poking you. That way, because what they do is they always make the wire way too long at first because they want to make sure there's enough room. And then at the very end, like, ah, right there, they take a pair of pliers and they clip them. Now, there is a small risk while they're doing these things that they, they're, you know, they're people, they're just humans, that they might nick you. But most of the time, the nurses, the orthodontists, they're really good. So you don't have too much to worry about. Um, I think the time you should be nervous is if you get one of the nurses that was watching and not really doing anything and then they said, okay, why don't you try it? That's the person you need to be aware of because they're new. They haven't done it a million times before like the other staff has. Um, uh, mine are colored. They're pink. The band is. And um, I got colored rubber bands, but I also have clear rubber bands. And I think I have all the colors right here. I have purple, 
pink and green and then I have just regular rubber band colored rubber bands. They're pretty small. Rubber bands are a pain in the butt, I have to tell you. Um, they snap really easily, especially if you're like me and you talk a lot. They snap and um, you ever get stuck on your arm with a rubber band? Getting snapped on your gum with a rubber band is not fun. Um, and um, close-ups, I can do close-ups. Hmm. Now, I had to have six teeth removed before I got my braces and I had to have all four of my wisdom teeth removed at once. And then I had to have two perfectly healthy teeth, my canines down here moved because I have really big teeth and, and in relative size to my mouth, they're too big. So there wasn't enough room for them. So, you know, your orthodontist will tell you that kind of stuff. Um, I had to learn how to swallow differently because before how I swallowed was like this. My tongue, because it's huge apparently. <laughs> my orthodontist, oral surgeon, and my regular dentist all tell me my tongue is giant. And I'm like, well, I'm not getting surgery to change that. But I had to learn how to swallow like this and put my tongue on the roof of my mouth. Some, most people, I guess, do that normally and for whatever reason, I didn't. You have to stop biting your nails, which I'm trying to do. I had stopped biting them, but then when I didn't wear my rubber bands anymore, um, I got back into the habit because I got nervous during a test. Um, let's see. They fit around your teeth because of the wire. Uh, they just kind of go around and what it does is it pulls your teeth together and forces them to be in alignment. And when you get them tightened, what they do is they take a, um, I don't know what kind of tool it is, but they take it and on this right here, they pull the wire through really harshly and then and then twist and that pulls all the teeth and they do that on both ends on the top and on the bottom and that's how they straighten your teeth um you can connect to the top with these and if your teeth are really really bad you might have to get headgear but that's really really rare um because that's only for people who have like really really bad teeth or who start really really late um let's see I'm trying to read all the questions what holds the little wire I said the it's just these little metal pieces there's space between them and that holds them in place um it's not hooked to the back of your jaw it's just hooked to your other back teeth. Um, but the metal is not like, it's not like a giant uh, pair of dentures that's metal like it's stuck to your teeth. It's nothing like that, um, as far as I know. And yeah, I do wear rubber bands. And yeah, so, this is this. Now, um, I have to tell you, I am actually close to the end of my braces because um, I had mine on for two years and I was when I was 18 and I'm 21 now. So, I'm at the end and we're just fixing my bite so I got put back on rubber bands. My teeth don't get tightened anymore. The braces don't get tightened. So they say my teeth are really straight right now and then I'm going to have to go and get a retainer. Um, how long you wear a retainer is different for each person. Some people have to get a retainer like permanently put in their mouth that, they sh that they're supposed to wear for the rest of their life. But my problem with this is if you are going to have that kind of a problem, why even bother to get braces if, they're, if the braces aren't actually going to do anything permanent? Um, but yeah. I am close to the end. I don't have another appointment until September something. 
and I will do a video before and after so and I can do another video that shows um mm, me flossing I guess all right I'll talk to you later bye